And now to something that's new to all of us this evening. A new report released this afternoon shares some good news about the health of the Chesapeake Bay's dead zone. The dead zone is an area of the bay and its rivers that don't have enough oxygen to support healthy aquatic life. This affects fish, blue crabs and oysters. Algae blooms that cause the dead zone can also cloud the water and ultimately damage underwater grass. But this summer, the dead zone is expected to be 33% smaller than average due to the lack of rainfall this spring. That limited the amount of water entering the bay from its surrounding tributaries, as well as decreased nitrogen and phosphorus pollution from areas within the watershed. So while this is good news, there is still a long way to go when it comes to cleaning up the bay. The bay is a pretty degraded resource. We're only hitting about a third of our water quality targets. There's still a, a giant blob of, of water out there that doesn't have oxygen in it. So, and there's a lot of work that, that remains to be done. Reducing pollution from agriculture really is the key to restoring the bay and something that organizations like the Chesapeake Bay Foundation are working really hard toward.